The most difficult conversation you'll have with your patient is why their IVF cycle failed at their post-op visit. With the Receptiva DX test, you can accurately predict ahead of time which patients are gonna be good prognosis and which ones are gonna be poor prognosis with IVF. Receptiva DX is an endometrial-based test that's performed seven to 10 days after ovulation. The test is able to predict accurately whether a woman has endometriosis. The test measures histology, the beta-3 integrin, and the BCL-6 biomarker. BCL-6 is an inflammatory marker, and when it's present, it means that there's inflammation somewhere in the body. Given the high prevalence of endometriosis in the infertile population, any patient anticipating IVF would be a good candidate for the Receptiva DX test. Certainly, patients that fail IVF should be tested, and women with unexplained recurrent pregnancy loss or unexplained infertility are also good candidates for this test. There are tests out there that can predict egg quality or the timing of embryo transfer. Receptiva DX is a different kind of test. It accurately predicts the presence of endometriosis and also tells you whether the endometrium is receptive for the attachment of the embryo. If you do this test and it comes back positive, there may be an opportunity to change the IVF outcome by treating the endometriosis prior to embryo transfer. In our practice, patients with a high BCL-6 test have a less than 20% chance of conceiving, while patients with a negative BCL-6 test get pregnant 70% of the time. Obviously, this can help you design treatment protocols for your patients that will help avoid those unnecessary IVF failures.